All right, welcome to the New Orleans Jazz Live Workshop for Kids. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to be with you today. Here we are in the street in New Orleans. Now, you, you'll notice that it looks pretty quiet right now. New Orleans is a place that's known for celebrations. And if you listen, you can hear some drums. It looks like they're getting ready for some celebration right now. So I want you to be thinking about what could you celebrate? What kind of things will be worth celebrating? Okay, so we got people thinking about Christmas. Um, I see people even talking about Juneteenth, uh, your birthday, Halloween, the 4th of July. So all those things we want to think about celebrating right now. So as the music starts, we're going to be doing some dancing. Just think about whatever you want to celebrate and we're going to go for it. Okay, so so when the band comes in, like you said, I want to see some dancing, I want to see some movement, I want to see some celebrating. Here we go. Now a little of this. Good, good. A little of this. You can get the legs into it. There we go. We're just celebrating. All right, well, that was some great celebrating, but you might think, wait a minute, what were the people in New Orleans actually celebrating? Were they celebrating Halloween? Were they celebrating Juneteenth? Were they celebrating Christmas? And actually, it wasn't any of those things. It's kind of crazy. But the people in New Orleans, they were celebrating when someone had died. Now, this is kind of crazy because we often don't think about celebrating when someone's died, but that's exactly what this is. So in New Orleans, when someone died, they would have a funeral and they'd have this big parade and they would go marching out to the cemetery and they would be playing a sad song because they would be feeling sad. But then when the parade went back into town, they would switch. And that was the time when they started to celebrate that person's life and think about all the good things of that person living. Now, there was a certain signal sometimes that would happen. There was a trumpet player, and he would play something that kind of gave everybody the signal that they were going to switch from being sad about that person dying to being happy about that person's life. So it sounded like this. That was the signal that it's time to celebrate. And then the whole audience would answer with, hey. And so let's try that. I want you to say, hey. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey. Okay. Now notice it's going to be, hey, if you go, hey, or hey, hey, it doesn't really work. <laughs> so we need to, hey, really push it with your stomach. So here we go. One, two, three. Hey, there we go. That's awesome. So I play the trumpet and then you do the hey part. Here we go. Hey. Now, the cool thing is, it's not just the audience that would say hey, but the band was actually saying hey as well. Now, this is really cool because we've got a way for you to be the band and say hey. First of all, let me introduce the band that we're playing with you today, or some of the instruments that we have. Now, first, I've got this one, which is the trumpet. And the trumpet is a main instrument in New Orleans jazz. Now, another instrument that we have is the trombone. So this is the trombone. So you're going to hear that in the recordings as well. Now, in addition to these instruments that I play, I actually had some friends of mine that played along with these recordings as well. So you're going to hear on the clarinet, Aubrey Smalls. And then we have on the banjo, Jordan Lynch. And then on the drums, we have Lewis Jones. So you're going to hear all those instruments, the trumpet, the trombone, the banjo, the drums. Now, I want to see you guys. I want to see if you guys can do some of these instruments. So in the chat, or if you're watching this on YouTube, if you look at the video description, there are links that show you how to play these buttons along with us. Now, when we play all the instruments, it sounds like this. So we hear the, dr the trumpet plays. And then, <laughs> exactly right. So we say hey, and then the band says hey together. So here we go. Let's try it. So once you do, you can, if you've got those buttons, and you might need to pause the video for a second, look at that description, find those links, play those buttons. 
here we go. You can play whichever instrument, or you can play all the instruments at once. Good. Okay, so that was the start of this parade. And like I said, switching from doing the sad part to being the happy part that everybody's going to be excited about. So we're going to do this whole thing. We're going to do this big intro, and then you're going to see the band playing the music, this Joy Avery's Blues, at the same time. Um, we're just going to get a second got our band going, and then after we do the big intro, then we get the band playing. We're ready to go. Okay, we're ready to do this intro. So like I said, I need that big, huge, hey, really celebrating this person's life. So here we go. Um, now, we're going to actually do it the intro four times, and then we'll start the song. So here it is. Be ready for that big hey. <laughs> And that was a great way to think about celebrating and the way they celebrate in New Orleans. Now, we're talking about New Orleans, yeah, so let's break it down a little bit, what New Orleans is, where it is, and some things about it. So, this is New Orleans. It's in the state of Louisiana in the country of the United States. So, if you see on this map, then we've got, this is Louisiana, down the southern part, and then right on the edge, there is New Orleans. Now, people from all over the world were living in New Orleans. So if you look up here, originally it was a Spanish colony. And then later on, France, it was taken over by France. And then, a very sad part of American history, there were lots of people that were forcibly brought from West Africa and enslaved in New Orleans and then spreading out to the rest of the country. So we had people from Spain, from France, and from West Africa. Now, this West Africa part really gave New Orleans jazz many of the characteristics that really made it what it is and gives it that unique sound. Now, the first characteristic we talked about, you've actually already figured it out, it's call and response. Now, call and response means the leader does something and then you respond. So when I play on the trumpet, hey, that, that hey and the band playing, that is the response. Hey, and this is something we saw in West African music, and then we also see it making it our way into New Orleans jazz. Now, another characteristic that you saw was swung instead of straight. Now, that has to do with how the beats are organized. When we talk about swing, we're dividing the beat unevenly. When we talk about straight, we're dividing it evenly. Now, let me break that down a little bit more for you. So, can you clap that steady beat with me? Like I said, if you've got something you can shake, you can something you can hit, now's the time to get it. Let's just do a steady beat. Now, if we divide it in half, it sounds like this. And that's dividing it very evenly in half. That's that straight rhythm. Now, in many styles of West African music, and then in New Orleans, instead of dividing it evenly, it divides it unevenly. So instead of this, it's uneven. Which gives us a very different fit. Okay, now you can also think about this as running, which is the straight feel, and skipping, which is the swing feel.
Okay, so there's our swung instead of straight. Now, one more way to think about this is with nursery rhymes. So we're going to think about some nursery rhymes that are straight and then some of them that are swung. Now, like I said, I hope you've got something you can hit to make sound. I've got this cajon I'm going to be playing. So I'm going to be playing a straight rhythm, and then I'm going to get this rhythm to repeat over and over again. So I've got my... I've got some different things happening to make it go. Here's the rhythm. Right, let me get this all set for us. Here we go. And then here it is. Oh, I've had a little problem with my microphone because it wasn't turned on. <laughs> so let's try that again. Here we go. There we go. So here's that straight rhythm. We're dividing the beat right and nice and evenly. Now the nursery rhyme, little Miss Muffet sat on a tuft, it eating her curds and whey. Down came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet all wet. So we see that very even, that straight feel. Now let's look at another nursery rhyme that's normally done with the swing feel. So we're going to go to groove, instead of even, we've got that swing feel. Like I said, it sounds more like that skipping. So there's our skipping drum feel. And now we look at this rhyme that has a swing feel. Here we go. Hump. Dee dum de sat on a wall. Hump de dum de had a great ball. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't get Humpty together again. Now notice this has that very different feel than that little Miss Muffet. And that is the swing feel. So when we're doing, when we're thinking about New Orleans jazz, rather than having that straight feel, we have that swing feel. Now, I want to practice a little bit. We talked about call and response. So call and response is where I play something and then you play it back. So, we're going to go, uh, if we'll just go back one, go back to the Humpty Dumpty, and I'm going to play something, and then I want you to play it back. Okay, so we're going to think about if it's straight or if it's swung. So here we go. Play that. Good, now. Do that again. And here's another one. Good. So good, those are all straight rhythms. Now, let's try some swing rhythms. I play, then you play it back. Here we go, we're gonna swing it. Here we go. And. And. So that's that swing rhythm. So when we're doing New Orleans jazz, dividing the beat unevenly instead of evenly gives it that feel. Now the next characteristic we're gonna be thinking about is improvisation. Now improvisation is when we're making stuff up. Now sometimes when people think about improvisation, it's just like, oh, you just get to play whatever you want. And it's not exactly like that because you have to make all the parts fit. Now when you listen to these New Orleans songs that the bands are playing, you'll notice that each person in the band is playing a totally different part, but yet they all fit together. And so each person was improvising their own part. In the original New Orleans jazz, each person made up a part, and then somebody else added on to it, and somebody else added on to it. They weren't reading written music. They were all coming up with things that all worked together, which is pretty incredible. So we're going to try a little bit of this improvisation all together. I'm going to play a pattern for you. We're going to get those patterns started on the cajon, and then I'll add some tambourine, and then I want to think about what pattern you might have that you could add to this as well. 
So here we go. And let's get. So uh, our cajon pattern. That's going to be our cajon pattern. So we're thinking about then what, what's a tambourine pattern that could go with that as well. So now we got the tambourine, we got the cajon. And now then we'll put a little trumpet pattern on. So improvising, we're creating all these parts that can go together. Now, have you got an idea of what you think might fit with that? So I want you to think about coming up with something and you're going to take the same pattern and repeat it over and over again. This is improvisation and it's called collective improvisation where we all come up with parts that fit together. So then we'll play that again. Okay, now add in your part whatever you think might fit with this. There we go. Now just keep that going. Now with these repeated parts that people are improvising, then someone could improvise a part that changes as it goes and kind of becomes a melt. So I'm going to add that um, with the trauma or with the trumpet. Here we go. Okay, now add your part in. Now I would say start with something kind of simple, and then you can always change it as you go. All right, I'm Improvisation. Now, we've talked about call and response. We've talked about swung versus straight. We've talked about improvisation. And then we're going to put these all together into a big performance, a song that we can sing and play together. Now, this song that we're going to do is Little Liza Jane. Now, this song is really cool because the words that you sing are very simple. So I'm going to start off with I'm going to sing Oh Little Liza, and then you'll sing Little Liza Jane. So it sound like this. Oh, that's it. Oh, Little Liza, and then you'll sing Little Liza Jane. Okay, so we'll try that. I'll sing Oh Little Liza, then you sing Little Liza Jane. Oh, Little Liza, Little Liza Jane. My turn. Oh, little Liza, little Liza Jane. Now you notice it changes those two times. So the first time I sing, oh, little Liza, then you sing, little Liza Jane. Then I sing, oh, little Liza, then you sing, little Liza Jane. Okay, so let's try that together. I'm going to sing, and then you sing after me. Here we go. Oh, little Liza, Liza Jane. Oh, little Liza, little Liza Jane. Good. Now, just a note on the singing here. Little Liza Jane is a guy that's singing about his girlfriend. Okay? Now, when he's singing about his girlfriend, he's kind of excited. Okay? So he's not singing, oh, little Liza. Okay? So when I want you to sing, I want you to sound excited. Think about that special someone in your life. And then sound excited. Oh, little Liza. Hey, and then you repeat back with me. Here we go. Oh, Liliza, Liliza Jane. Oh, Liliza, Liliza Jane. 
Okay, good. Now we're going to switch. I want you to do the old little Liza, then I'll sing the a little Liza Jane. Okay, here we go. And oh, or, so you're first. Oh, little Liza Jane. Now you sing. Little Liza Jane. Okay, now this only works if you're actually singing. Okay, so here we go. Try it with me again. You sing the old little Liza. I'll sing the little Liza Jane. Yeah. Oh, little Liza. Little Liza Jane. Here your turn. Oh, little Liza. Little Liza Jane. Okay, awesome. Now, you'll notice that this is already, we can already see one of the things that we talked about, one of the characteristics of New Orleans jazz we talked about, which was call and response. Okay, I'm doing it, and then you're doing it back. So we've already got our call and response in this song. Now, the other thing, the next thing we talked about was swung instead of straight. So, let's think about that one. In this song, the melody part goes. Now, that is swung. If it was straight, if it was even, it would sound like this. So you notice the difference when we swing it. So, so far, we've got those two things. We've got improvisation. We've got call and response. We've got improvisation. And we've got the swung versus straight. Um, except we don't have improvisation in the song yet. So let me go to it in just a second. Um, First, let's review everything that we got. So the song is going to start. Now, in the beginning, you're going to do some improvising with that instrument you have to shake or to hit. So you're going to hear the band play in that background, and then you play something. You can play it on this, or you can play it on the thing you're hitting. Okay? And then when we get to that little Liza Jane part, I need you to sing. You can pick either part that, oh, little Liza or the little Liza Jane. Either one, we'll put it together. Okay, so once again, I think we've got the band ready to go. Are we, still, are we still, still sharing our screen? Okay, so here we go. And here's the band. Now let's surprise with it. Now here's the singing part. Here we go. Okay, now, this, so you've done a little bit of improvising. The cool thing about New Orleans jazz is they started with this collective improvisation where everybody was making up their thing at the same time. And then later, there was a famous musician you might know, Louis Armstrong, who decided, hey, instead of everybody making up stuff, what if we took turns and we had some kind of special solos? So that's what we have time for now is we're going to do some solos. Now, the band is going to play that part, oh, little Liza, and when you're not playing a solo, you want to sing that part, and then there's going to be a little space to play a solo in. Okay, so let's try that. Here's what the band's going to sound like. Here. Here's the solo. Excellent. So the band plays, and then we respond. So once again, it's call and response. But this time, we're doing the improvisation. We're playing the solos with. So I want you to take a second. You might even want to pause this video and think about what kind of things could you do? What kind of improvisation could you make up to go with that? Okay, so you have just a few seconds. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four. So it's four counts. What can you fill in with those four counts? Either with the thing that you hit or with the thing you're going to shake. 
Now, if you have no ideas, you can always just go, okay? That's a fine place to start. It's just play something, and then you can start to feel comfortable with what you're going to do. Okay, so we're going to go a few rounds. I'm going to improvise for a little while, and then I'm going to stop playing, and we'll just have the band play that loop, and then you can find some ideas that might work for your improvisation. Okay, so here's our band. Eliza. Now you turn, here we go! Eliza Oh, Eliza There we go! Here we go! Oh, Eliza And Here we are! One more. Awesome. Okay, you've got some really great improvisational ideas. Now, if you feel like you're ready, we're going to put this all together. If you feel like you want some more time to practice, you can pause this video, or you can even just go back and rewind it and play again to get some more ideas going. Okay, because now we are ready for our big performance, moving around, thinking about all that celebration stuff, all the things we talked about. Uh, and we'll go back to the side that shows our little eyes oh well, here we are actually this is what we want because we're back in new orleans we're back on the street ready to celebrate so as we go down the street as we start this i want you to think about we're marching down the street and then we sing that oh little eyes we want to sing it out nice and proud really celebrating like i said you're thinking about that special person whoever it is and just ready to celebrate that person called out we'll go through the whole thing a little bit of dancing a little bit of moving around and then we'll sing the oh little eyes and then we'll do that part again, the dancing from the beginning. Then we get to the improvisation part. Okay, so the band will be playing, ba, 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 and then you just do some improvising. Okay, we'll do that for a little while, and then we'll go back into it one more time. And then uh, we'll have a little special surprise, a little crazy ending uh, for the end. Okay? <laughs> Now it's your turn. Now you go. And oh, it lies up. Oh, it lies up. And oh, it lies up. Now we do it one more time and go back to the top. Oh, it lies up. Eliza J. Improvise their instruments. There we go. There we sing. All oh, Eliza, Eliza J. All oh, Eliza. Eliza, 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 Eliza,
time. We're gonna hit it one time. Ready? Hit it one time. One time. One time. Hit it twice. Hit it three times. Hit it four times. Hit it six times. Hit it ten times. Okay, that was really good. Now, the cool thing is, you can try it again. You can rewind this and play back and try some different instruments that you might improvise with, try some different singing parts, try some different solo parts, and really get your groove going. Okay, that was awesome. Now, also want to remind you, we have the buttons uh, in the description so you can play along. And actually, there is even a button to do those hits at the end of Liza Jane. So if you rewind it again, you can play it with those Liza Jane hits and play the band hits along with me right at the end. You can even make up your own however many times you want to play. So thank you so much for joining us uh, for this presentation this morning. I want to first, I do need to do some specific thank yous. First of all, I want to thank the Columbus Metropolitan Library System. We were all over the Columbus libraries last year presenting in-person workshops. I'm, I'm so excited we had this chance to present this workshop virtually this summer, and we hope to be back live again next summer. Um, I also want to thank the musicians that we had, Jordan Lynch and Aubrey Smalls and Lewis Jones from all over the country coming together to make this New Orleans jazz, which is awesome. Also, many of the arrangements that were used today were used with permission from the Preservation Hall Foundation. Now, this is... Um, this is an organization in New Orleans that's set to protect, preserve, and perpetuate New Orleans jazz. And they make these arrangements available, and we can put them together. So um, I want to say thank you to them and encourage you to support them right now. Uh, as you know, COVID-19 has made a lot of live performances impossible, and that's where they, a lot of their funding is from. So right now, if you contribute to the foundation, Spotify is matching any kind of contributions. Also, merchandise, like this shirt right here, um, the proceeds from the merchandise is also matched um, by Spotify. So I encourage you to donate and support this organization. The events of the last month have made it a point in time for us all to recognize the incredible musical legacy that black Americans have had in the United States despite and even in the midst of incredible injustice. Giving a donation or purchasing merchandise is one way to express that recognition. Um, and then finally, I want to thank you for participating. Thank you for checking out this video. Um, if you want to hear more, there is, if you go on YouTube, New Orleans jazz style down by the bay. There's one more song that you can hear me do, and you can get some improvisation going in that song. Um, thank you for making music with us. Have a great day. <laughs>